Hi guys, it's Destiny, and <laughs> y'all see the title, so let's just jump right in to like what I thought when I saw it. So I jumped in the shower. Um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and settle out, you know, mellow, mellow out, and try and just wrap the night up. Honestly, I was like in a junior state of depression because. My Mavericks are in the pisser. Breaks my heart. My Cowboys are in the pisser. Tony Romo has proven to me that he throws gay. No, I'm... <laughs> Tony, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. But you're making it hard for a sister to support you. Mavericks, okay, small rant. My Mavericks, orange juice mayonnaise is going through a regression, OJ Mayo. I'm not really sure why, but I need him to get it together. Fisher leaving, you are a Maverick hmm, for like five seconds. You were a Laker first and I supported you, but I totally understand like why. So I want y'all to think I don't understand because it had more to do with his family than like anything. That was his number one reason. So that's just my interjection on that. So this, this is where my stage of depression is coming from. Just know that. So I was in like this downward spiral. I'm like, I'm just going to get in the shower. I'm going to go to bed. I'm in a bad mood. My Cowboys lost. It's a wrap. So I'm like, let me just take one more tour of my media outlets or whatever and see what's going on before I go to bed. What did I do that for? So <laughs> it comes up on the screen and I'm like, no, 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 like I start screaming and I'm like, just put two extra feet of dirt on top of me and just put me on in my grave because now y'all play too much. This has got to be a rumor. So I start searching and looking and no. Kimberly Noel Kardashian and Kanye Omari West are having a baby. Possibly more than one if we were to go back and acknowledge the rumors from like a month or so ago. But for right now, my spirit can only accept one. I can barely tolerate the Joker that's on its way. So babies are blessings regardless of where they come from or why or how or from whose treacherous canal they are blessings so no shade to the baby the shade is that Kanye and Kim first of all let's shade how you decided to announce your pregnancy He's performing at Revel in a Santa Claus outfit. No, more like Snowman. Snowman turned Santa Claus because it did have a beard. I don't know what was going on. Kanye needs to admit himself before this baby gets here. Because Kanye is cuckoo for freaking Cocoa Puffs. You're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, sir. You need to get some treatment. Because you're coming out and you're wearing all kind of skirts and little dickies, suits under them. And I just, I can't, my spirit just can't take any more from you. You're just doing the most. Now you're stuck. Let's be for real, for real, Kanye, you're stuck. You had your chance to make an escape, and you didn't. And that's your fault. Now you're stuck with her, because now you got a baby on the way. I mean, you could do like it's expected of you. Not you, but men, black men. You know, that stigma that they just going to knock somebody up and leave. Don't do that. I mean, you could, but don't. You could, not suggesting that you should, but you could. But please don't. <laughs> Um, and that's a whole nother video, but I know he wants kids. I know she's wanted kids, but again, let's stick to the shade of how you announced it. You said, stop the music and let me, um, and, and show some love to my baby mama. That's what we doing now. That's how we announce in our pregnancy. You just gonna be the baby mama. Like he said it on the mic, baby mama, you doing the most. Like the crowd was like, huh? <laughs> what they do that at? Like, apparently in Calabasas. So, this picture has surfaced now. Of, that's why I'm glad I waited like 15 more minutes because the picture surfaced of like Chris Jenner with the death grip on, on um, what's that little uh, slut bucket's name? Uh, Kim. 
she had her like in the I'm happy for you like she was like legit in a chokehold look at it I'll put the link in the description box like she had her in a chokehold like a WWF slash E like chokehold out of excitement I'm like whoa you actually look pregnant so I don't know how well, no I do she's 12 weeks along but we know that their body isn't very forgiving none of them from the mama well the other ones got Bruce's genes so we're not gonna count Kendall and Kylie but their genes are like atrocious when it comes to how they gain weight and spread Kim that booty that was like the the booty of the world that was like this is gonna be like whew, off the charts so you better get all the money and endorsements you can on that thing and enjoy it before it spreads or you better see if Beyonce will cough up who she worked with to lose that weight from Blue Ivy because you will not come back from this on top. I don't care what they tell you. That booty will betray you. Not that I'm trying to help you with nothing but I hope that you don't think this is your foot in the door that Blue Ivy is going to be having play dates with whatever y'all are going to have if it's one baby or two you better hope you have a little girl and maybe the carters will give you blue ivy's hand-me-downs maybe i still haven't decided if i want my niece like handing you down her little louboutin slippers i don't know how i feel about that i really don't actually i know how i feel about it stay away just stay away stay away just stay away um but yeah so he he said it on the mic and I still wasn't willing to accept it. Even after I saw the video, I'm like, nah, he just playing. He got the baby somewhere else. He didn't get her pregnant. But no, he um, he did. And he looked happy. I'm not going to even lie. Like, he looked elated. And I am happy for them in that regard. I don't want to sound like a bitter Betty. Even though I'm bitter. Like, I really, I want her to grow up. And him too. Because, like, again, he's one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And I just don't see either of them for being parents. I don't see it. I'm not here for it and I'm not checking for it. But you better believe Kris Jenner has already clocked all of her hours on getting a reality show about this pregnancy. A reality show about this delivery. Oh, you think they had a wedding special? They about to be mailing out diamond pacifiers. You better believe they are going to milk this dry. It's what they do. It's their thing. It's like it's their thing. They milk stuff dry. Well, she milk, she milk Kanye dry. Okay. And now she, she, but she, she locked and loaded. She was like, mm, Kanye, uh, don't let him go. Come on, body, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Got him. I'm good. Like, cause she said, set. I'm just saying. And I know how they, how they have shown me that they tend to think. I don't want to act like I know. I don't know them from a can of paint. But even Martha Stewart gives you swatches. So I'm going off of the swatch that they've given me over the past five, six years that she's been thrust into the meat. Well, she thrust her cooch first, but then we eventually saw her. And from the little bit that we've seen, the lot of bit, that was shade, the little bit slash lot of bit that we've seen of her and her family, they exploit stuff. And I hope Beyonce does give her like a couple of pearls of wisdom, like not the expensive pearls, just the ones that you leave laying around the house and tell her, do not exploit your baby. Even her, her sister is smart enough not to completely like pull out your children. Please don't do that. She going to anyway. So it's like I'm pleading with a wall. It's you going to do it anyway. But the family did confirm it. Chloe sent out a really cute te uh, text, Lord, I'm tired, uh, sent out a really cute tweet. Lamar sent something that was really nice, and I really do feel bad for them, because they genuinely like, not that Kanye and Kim don't genuinely want kids, because I don't know their life, but, like, to the married people, find the shade. Um, to the married people, like, I feel bad that, you know, they're not able to have children, but I uh, guess she has a hostile uterus or something. I just feel bad for it. My prayers go out to them, and I hope that they are able to conceive because, like, Kim's cooch is like the freaking cesspool of Hollywood, and she clearly clinked up and got pregnant, but I feel bad for them because they can't. But they sent out really, really nice tweets. Um, one of them girls, Kendall or Kylie... The one that doesn't look like a Furby. The other one. That one. Yeah, that one. She sent out a really cute tweet. But I'm not here for them, like, acknowledging them as Kimye. Can you please say congratulations to my sister Kim? 
and to Kanye, like, please stop calling him Kimye. That's your fam. Ugh, whatever. See what I mean by exploiting? They exploit anything, just a little ounce of anything. They take it and they run with it. Now, I thought Chris was Bruce. I thought Chris Jenner was Bruce when I saw the little avatar pop up. I. Again, shade. I think that's shade. More shade for Bruce than it is for Chris. But it might be more because I thought you were a man, but he does look like a girl. Um, I don't know. I hope because he's going to be a grandfather again, he takes an earring out, like, for good. But he sent out a really... He, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> she sent out a really, really um, short but sweet tweet. It says, oh, baby, baby, baby. Um... This girl, this is a happy girl or something like that. Wow, that I thought was really sweet. Um, Courtney acknowledged, you know, the pregnancy in a um, in a cute, you know, little tweet. So they all have confirmed it. E Online has confirmed it, and you know that's a second home. So she's pregnant. As much as I like cringe at the thought of her having a child and having to like raise it responsibly. Um, she is. Now, tell me if you can show me any better face than this one when Amber Rose heard she was pregnant. Amber Rose probably like, that's my Amber Rose face. Like, as soon as she found out, it was like, side, eye, lips, person, everything. So, I guess they had to one up and say, Wiz and Amber, we're not checking for you. We're not checking for that baby. We gonna have our own. See, see, this is how I think of them. This is, you know, mm, grow up. Although, we don't know that. That's just my personal opinion. But they just need to grow up. Because it seems so tit for tat. You know, it seems tit for tat. And I hope you are not titting for tatting with your freaking cooter and a baby. I really hope that you're not. That's not how you tit for tat. But, um, well, you shouldn't be doing it at all. But, like, you're not getting married first. You're doing everything, like, so tail backwards that I can't even put it into words how backwards they are. Anyway, um, you know... We'll see. We'll see what happens with all this. We'll see how it goes. Don't think that this means y'all gonna be having play dates and all that kind of stuff, because you're not. I don't care what what kind of pictures they put in the media, what kind of convenient shots they happen to take. I refuse to believe it. Stay away from Beyonce and Blue Ivy and Jay. Please. Just stay away. But that's kind of inevitable because half of that baby is Kanye's. And... <sighs> <sighs> but she's like dated everybody now. Reggie, you dodged a bullet. Miles Austin, you dodged a bullet. Um, what's that boy's name? She dated somebody else in um, in sports. Tried to act like she didn't, but she did. Whoever you are, you dodged a bullet. Chris Humphreys, that is. Look, it's pathetic. It's pitiful. I know. What was me? Let the divorce go. Please realize that you dodged a bullet in your little 72 hour wedding, uh, marriage, whatever. Yes, I said 72 hours because that's all I will acknowledge. 72 days, that's a joke. I'm just going to say that y'all had an annulment and y'all realized that it was a mistake. I refuse to believe it took you 72 days to realize this wasn't going to work. You should have never got married in the first place. But get in, that's another video. Another video. But you dodged a bullet, let it go, move on. Nobody really was checking for you and who you were in the first place. So, shave and no shave. So, yeah, Kanye, you're the prize winner of a Kardashian baby. <laughs> so, I want to know what y'all think. Like, what do y'all think about this baby? Like, this, not the baby about the pregnancy. Because, again, like I said, I'm not shading the baby. It's, the shade is at Kim and at, at, at Kanye. I just, I can't. I can't. Right now, I just can't. Maybe if you give me 13, 14 years, I might be able to accept it. But right now, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. It seems like a big mess. Um, it seems so irresponsible. Like, I blinked and y'all start talking just here recently. So, now you're pregnant and everybody's supposed to do pomp and circumstance for you? Mm -mm. E needs to be the only people rolling out a red carpet for this pregnancy because... This is just tail backwards. My personal opinion, like it or love it, it's what I feel and it's not going to change. So I want to know what y'all think. Like, please leave it in the comments below. Y'all are rebellious. I asked you to put it in the comments below and y'all still eat on Facebook. So I'll read it either way. Um, yeah, so first my Mavericks, then my Cowboys, and now Kim Kardashian is pregnant.
just not here for it. But Kanye, you like I said, you had your chance and you didn't take it. So clink, clink, buddy, you're locked in. They got you locked and loaded. So we'll see how this goes. I love you. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.